to do at 10. You won't believe what Mother Nature has turned up. Look at this. This is from Lake Erie. The winds are so strong, one end of the lake is lowered, while the other side saw water levels rise. That's a phenomenon that's actually called seish. Now, Fox News' Dave Spencer is live along Lake Erie and Luna Pier with more on what's happening and what was found because of that. Dave. Yeah, Roop, this was a term that was uh, new to me. Uh, apparently, it's something that happens re with relative uh, frequency around here, but not to this degree. In fact, lake levels here in Lake Erie in Luna Pier are still lower than they are supposed to be. That's because the water is over far east. The winds are relentless. It was that bomb cyclone that we talked about yesterday that came in overnight around midnight that actually cleared the way for some adventurous locals to uncover some things that were far out to, to the lake. During our trek from Luna Pier Beach down to Erie Beach, we found a Volkswagen uh, that we confirmed with somebody who lives local who had lost it back in 1969. You found the rightful owner? Uh, yes. Wow. Uh, we heard the story about it. It was being used at that time to pull skiers around on the ice. No way. Uh, and they lost it. Um, but that was the first time that the water level had been low enough uh, for it to have been exposed. Sure. Uh, we also found a snowmobile that belonged to uh, somebody else that we knew. Uh, that had been lost for a couple of years, which was pretty neat. And then uh, the, the class ring we found, mm -hmm. um, we still have, we don't have a whole lot of information on it because it just has high school inscribed on it. Um, but based on the information that we have, it's probably 60 to 70 years old. Yeah, that ring is pretty cool. He just said that a couple of his friends happened to spot it with their bare eye, not using a, a metal detector or anything. That was the voice of Austin Lotta, who you heard there, who lives here along Lake Erie, and says he and a few friends, friends were able to venture out roughly a quarter to a half mile onto that new beach that used to be a lake, thanks to the winds that were literally pushing the waters east. Now, eventually, that water will slosh its way back and return the lake to normal levels. As I mentioned, that hasn't happened yet. He describes the terrain as he crosses it as soft sand that was easy to walk on, but cautions others not to do something alone uh, the next time this sort of happens because you don't know how unstable that ground is. He says that there have been times where it's really been quicksand and it sucks up his boot and he has to rely on the help of others to get himself out. Uh, so that and you're, you just don't know when that water is going to return. He cautions never turn your back to the lake. Uh, it could come back uh, with, with some some force when it does return. Now, right now, he says that uh, uh, according to his judgment from living along the lake, that it's about 70 percent to back to normal. So there's still about 30 percent needs to come and fill back in. That water will eventually return when those winds do cut back. And coming up at 11, we're going to tell you what he plans to do with some of the items that they recovered. It's a story you'll see in about an hour from now. Reporting live in Luna Pier, Dave Spencer, Fox. Two news. Yeah, interesting with the with the sage phenomena, like how pages of history are lying beneath the water there, and so easily they can be unraveled, looked at, and examined. But you got to do it quickly. Yeah, think about that. You're, go, you're venturing out uh, into a quarter and, and a half mile that was typically be underwater. And so to find those things and uh, have the time to kind of get them back over to dry land, and then uh, it, it's going to be interesting what they do with them, and, and hopefully it all comes to fruition. We're going to have more on that coming up in a little bit. Back to you, Ruth. We'll see you in less than an hour for that story tonight on The Edge. Dave Spencer for a, a live report and a science lesson for us here tonight. Thanks for that.